This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today we are going to show you how to enable read-only mode on your saves on the PC version of Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now this has multiple applications. The first is, is it's going to allow you to refarm those pesky non-respawnable bosses to get say like the uh, Moonlight Saga from the Tiny Destroyer, uh, the Fatale from Drongo Bones, etc etc. What this also allows you to do is it allows you to refarm uh, quest rewards. So let's say you want to get a very specific version of a quest reward weapon. All you have to do is enable read only mode, go in and just constantly refarm that quest reward. We'll show that further on in the video. I'm also going to show you that this actually allows you to drop dupe. So if you want to do that, that's pretty cool as well. Now, what you're going to want to do, if you're queasy about messing with your saves, um, and really I recommend you do this, go ahead and just back them up. Uh, I went ahead and made a folder here that's got my Wilhelm save that we're going to be tinkering with. And you'll see here, save one, save one. So that's pretty cool. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to locate your saves. Those are in my documents. So get there. You're going to want to get to this screen. Go to My Games, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Willow Game, Save Data, this long number, and then of course you're going to see your saves here. Now, you're going to need to know what character um, that you are farming, what the character is that you're farming with. And basically, if you remember what characters you made in order, um, that is how the saves are set up. So I made Wilhelm first. I made Athena second, Nisha third, and then Claptrap fourth. So what you're going to want to do, figure out what your save is. You're going to want to go ahead, right click, go to properties, and it'll say read only mode. Go ahead, select this, hit apply, hit OK or X, and you've set up your save for read only mode. Now what this does is it essentially allows you to farm... Um, or I'm sorry, it allows you to look, the game looks at your save file and only reads the data that's on it. It doesn't ever overwrite it. So an example of an overwrite may be when you drop an item, you save and quit and it's not in your inventory anymore, or you've made certain progress on a mission, uh, and you, um, have saved and quit, and then it logs that and saves that information. What this does is it makes it so you're you're not really saving at all. It's only reading the data that's on your save um, before you've set it to read-only mode. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to show you some in-game examples of what this does. So I'm going to go ahead here. We're going to go into Borderlands. And we're in Borderlands. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tweak my audio here. Just bear with me. So, remember, I said we were doing this on Wilhelm. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to farm a quick quest reward here. Um, now, this is just going to be regular greens. Great work. We both hit the karma jackpot out there. So, as you can see here, let me find it. Got a lot of items here. I have the Bumble Broth Snyder. Now, let's say I don't like this version. I don't like this particular gun. I don't like the fact that it's corrosive. I want something different. All you do, save and quit. Return to the main menu. Reselect your character. Go in. And you can refarm the quest reward. So, now you've got this Chinook. Now, let's say you like that or you don't. It doesn't really matter. Um, now, what you can do is, at this point, is let's say um, you have some friends. You've been collecting some legendaries or you've been doing some stuff, a lot of farming, and a friend of yours wants an item you have. Or maybe they want a couple items that you have. Um, what you can do to basically give these items to your friends is you can actually use read only mode to drop dupe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop everything in my inventory. 
Just a moment, because I got a lot of crap. So, all of this is being dropped. You're watching this all in real time. I think we can all agree on that. Loot explosion. That's what you do. Save and quit. Re-enter. And you'll have all your items. As you can see here. Now, you will notice that that Chinook that we have we had we don't have that that's because the game isn't overriding um your save when you're saving and quitting let's say you do want to get that chinook or if you have been farming say like drongo bones and the fatal smg uh, drops well how do you save your your game again now what you're going to do go ahead and acquire the item so we got the brachni there go ahead Save and quit. Now don't do anything. Go ahead. Hit Alt Tab. This is going to bring you back to Windows. Go ahead. Go to your save. Go to the properties. Go to read only. Uncheck it. Hit apply. Hit OK or X. And now it'll save. Now what you're going to want to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm doing some extra steps here. So go back into game. What I recommend you do just as kind of a safe as a safety precaution, go ahead, re-enter your game. You see here, one sec. You see here that we have this Brachni. Okay, so you go ahead, save and quit. Then switch characters. Switch back, and you'll see here that we'll have the Brachni. Alrighty. And yeah, there we go. So, as you can see in this video, you can do and use read only mode for a lot of things. You can use it to refarm enemies, you can use it to farm quest rewards, you can also use it to drop dupe if you really want to do that. A um, lot of things you can do with this. But anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you do like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to see if we could get another 10 likes on this. That would be pretty badass. Um, but anyway, guys, take care, and I'll see you all next time.